Are your wallet still alive after last week's madness? Hey everyone, it's Jordan here back again with this week's update and all the physical releases coming to the Switch. We're in the first week of August, bloody hell, the first until the fifth. Now I have a massive announcement to make, well it's massive to me and it's definitely going to affect the channel and my future YouTube content. I'll let you know later in this episode so stay tuned. Very important. Pretty Girls Game Collection is officially releasing this week, however I've seen a lot of people on Twitter with it already in their hands, the dirty buggers. This is another fun box media special, living up to their euphemistic name, and you thought it meant a literal box, <laughs> to be so naive. This is four games in one, all very simplistic, you get two examples of the fraudulent Mahjong, one Klondike Solitaire game and something that kinda looks like kicks but not as interesting as the last one they did. How to make this sellable? Well they added boobs and fanny, yes full nudity because in Europe that's cool and legal, that's why this is a European exclusive, when Japan says no to lewd then it's proper filthy. I don't know, it's probably fine if you want Bishoujo knockers, if you want actual card game stuff then there are a couple of imports that offer better value and slightly, shall we say, more dignity. You might be able to play with your nan, unless she was a bit of a saucy one back in the day. If you're a North American pervert, I mean person, and you need this in your life then check the link in the description, you can import a copy you dirty dirty boy and girl. The quest for Excalibur, Poo de Fool. Looks <laughs> to be getting its North American release, finally, finally we've been waiting forever, at least that's what Best Buy says. This has been out in Europe for a while and it's supposed to imitate a famous French theme park. I'll take their word for it but they won't take my cash for this. And our executive producer Punky Dooster, he must like French theme parks because it is his pick of the week. Absolute Drift Zen Edition is releasing in North America this week. This kind of lives up to its name, this is a very zen experience or at least it can be if you get it right, otherwise you may be raging. Drifting gracefully around the uniform minimalistic tracks can be an absolute treat. Not really my kind of game but for what it's going for I can see a lot of people getting addicted trying to get the perfect racing line and cranking up their high score. This physical edition comes with a poster, stickers and lenticular card, I don't know if it's getting a European release or not. Alright the low prince, webbed is super rare's latest cutest buttons game, here you play as a tiny spider who's on a mission to save her boyfriend from an evil bird, how dare that bird eat its natural food, all birds should be vegan according to this game. Anyways you are weaseling your way to save him, you'll make friends along the way and you can see the animation is adorable. What I take issue with however is this whole saving the boyfriend lie, because as we all know male spiders are way smaller than female spiders and are often eaten by the female either before, during or after copulation. So yeah I'm pretty sure this spider is just after a bit of sex and lunch, think about that for a second. 4000 copies available at Super Rare Games on Thursday, get it quick because this is a very highly rated game, it won't stick around. And our executive producers, Raven Knight, Instacritic, Parsnip Coffee, Isa, God of Resin, Katacha, Brent McLean, Grant Cert, Robotech, Precision Plague and Thorn Metal Loon have chosen this as their pick of the week. I think that's more than Xenoblade last week. Ooblets is gonna for pre-order at Fan Gamer. This is a bright, colourful game, a life sim, a farm sim, and a monster collector. It's actually not out yet, so it's unknown if it's actually good or not, although the, the beta testers say that it is. I genuinely have high hopes for this one. I'm guessing this will come out at retail too, but just in case you don't want to miss it, pre-order at Fan Gamer now. And our executive producers Viz, Jennifer M and Boombox have chosen this as their pick of the week. Ray's Arcade Chronology is getting a physical release in Europe thanks to Streetly Limited Games. Yes you may remember my slightly clumsy introduction to this where I got confused about the publisher, I thought it was M2 who never do western releases when in fact it's Taito who pretty much always do, especially with Strictly Limited Games, so yeah it is happening now you can pre-order this collection of awesome shmups, the big question is, the Japanese release is due for March next year, will Strictly Limited get it out before? or a year and a half later, probably the latter so be careful where you put your money, there's a few editions available if you want them. 
Good pizza, great pizza is a distribution effort from a limited run. I feckin' love pizza. Living in China has become my last bastion of Western food since it's the only decent thing I can get in my city. And no, I don't live in Beijing or Shanghai. I live in proper China, so it's not very Westernized. This is a pizza making game. Keep your pizza store afloat by meeting the demands of the customer. Pretty simple premise, however it is worth noting that this is not a complete game. The Switch currently only has the first two chapters, chapters 3, 4 and a few other pieces of content are not on the Switch for whatever reason. Maybe they'll arrive in the future but they're definitely not on the cartridge. They probably should have waited instead of giving half a game. God knows why this needed three different editions, Jesus. Now last week was all about Doom when it comes to shooting stuff, but you know what, piss off Doom because Froggen is here. You have a gun that is a frog, and it has the added bonus of being a platformer that looks like it could be on the PlayStation 1. Win, win, win. It's a slow paced affair, but seems to have a bit of charm about it. I think I love this. I don't know if it's actually good, but damn, I want it. Seems right up my alley. If I was to offer one immediate criticism, I don't like how everything is just a floating platform. I'd prefer if it was more like, like a tangible world, like Spyro or Croc kind of thing. Minor points, there is a standard edition and a collector's edition with way too much paper for doubling the price. This shit would be free in Japan, although the artwork is nice. I just wish it wasn't limited run because I would like to buy it. Come on Top Hat, we used to, we used to talk. We used to talk a lot, send me a copy so I don't have to give limited run my money. Actually, just a quick edit, I did see that there will be a retail release in both Europe and Japan. Feck yes! Oh yeah, frog and baby. And our executive producer, Cartoon Soren, happy birthday by the way. He knows what's up, it's his pick of the week. Alright, the imports. Remember guys, if anything takes your fancy and you'd like to import it for yourself, then please consider using the links below in the description and the pinned comment. If you click those links and buy something, it also helps support me and this channel ever so much. This series would not be where it is without your support. Plus, in return for supporting us, we can support you with 5% off. Yes, if you buy something and use the discount code STEENBOCK, you can get 5% of any physical item from PlayAsia. Just remember, that code will run out eventually, but for now it is STEENBOCK, and it is still $50 for free shipping. I think that's running out in a week or two, so make the most of it, guys. Now, this week in Japan, there's not really anything that interesting. Uh, there's a couple of visual novels and some belated releases over there we already have, but there have been quite a few upcoming import announcements for a few weeks, so I do want to tell you about them. These games are not releasing this week, they are upcoming announcements to get your pre-orders in. Make the most of that $50 free shipping. Let's have a look. Doric was a limited run distribution title but is getting an Asian release with English. I don't know how this Ultimate Edition compares to limited run's complete edition, but I do know this surreal horror game includes a digital art book, sticker and digital soundtrack to go along with it. This is releasing sometime this year, it's a very creepy game. Fuga Melodies of Steel 2 is getting a physical release in Japan next year. Yeah, the original game never got a physical release, but this one is kind of bittersweet because I love the first one physically too, and I know you guys would as well. These are RPGs with a heavy story element, and it takes inspiration, a lot of inspiration from Studio Ghibli films with themes like Nausicaa and Howl's Moving Castle. It looks gorgeous, it plays very well, very nice story. The first one is really good, so I have high hopes for this one too. It's coming next year, okay? Dead by Daylight is getting another physical edition in Japan. What the smeg? Either these sell like hotcakes or they're just cheap as hell to produce. This time, it's Ringu. Yes, Sadako is coming out of the TV to petrify you. I still haven't got rid of the mental scars since I watched it alone at nighttime at 10 years old. I did not friggin' sleep for days. Harmonia is one of Key's visual novels, one of their shorter ones you can finish in a couple of afternoons. It's a kinetic VN, so no choices, which is fine by me. It's a sci-fi concept set in a post-apocalyptic world, and it's supposed to be pretty good. Not quite the same level as Planetarium, but a commendable effort. We'll have a review over on VN Paradise closer to release in October. It's very reasonably priced. Return to Shirinagasu Island is a horror visual novel, a very commendable one considering reviews I've seen for it. It's a murder mystery with plenty of horrid twists. It has some rather unique art, not the usual anime babe trope, it is a bit more raw and not 
as terrible as like Western V in art. This is coming later this year and I'm pretty sure it's the cheapest import I've ever seen. It is ridiculously cheap and it makes me question companies that price their games so high. Come on, it's like £15. What is this? Raiden 4 Mikado Remix plus Raiden 5 Director's Cut. You may remember Limited Run had this double pack up for pre-order. Well, Asia is also getting this release as well. Two commendable shmups in one package and much cheaper than buying them individually too. Can't go wrong, I guess. Look forward to this if you're not in North America. All right, before we get into the community spotlight, I told you I had some major news. This news is, well, it's very big. It's huge. I have given up coffee. Oh, I've been slowly weaning myself off for the past month, reducing my five cups a day slowly, slowly, slowly until three days ago when I had my last half a cup. And yes, the withdrawal symptoms are kicking in, but it's manageable. I'd have probably been hospitalized if I gave up cold turkey, but it's not so bad winding down slowly. I've had a very mild headache the past few days, but I think I think I might be over the finishing line. I do crave coffee out of habit, but at least I'm not incapacitated if I don't have a coffee within five minutes of waking up in the morning. So yeah, that's my big personal announcement and it may affect my output. In fact, uh, I might go to sleep at a reasonable time. Yes, instead of staying up till one in the morning to finish a video. Anyways, yeah. I just wanted to tell you. I have to tell somebody that I gave up coffee, so I'll tell you 10,000 people. All right, the community spotlight. Movie star Kitten sent in this picture of some Play Asia visual novel goodness. Pretty much all of their VNs, aside from Love Kami, they're really good too. And it's great to see them get restocked. Diesel JT sent in this picture. They got in Cyanide and Happiness, a fairly obscure release. Limited Run and also Serenity Forge on their website had some too. Not sure if it's still available or not. Psych Villain, thanks ever so much for the donation. I hope your wallet has been extinguished this week. They got in a package from Limited Run. It seems with Infernax, a pretty fun retro style cover. Executive producer Elisa got in the holy quadrilogy of Xenoblade. Hope you've got 350 hours to spare. I'm expecting to see a lot more of three next week since I close the submissions a little bit early. Visipan, thanks for using our links to purchase the Love Kami Trilogy. I know you definitely only bought it to support us rather than the big boobs. 100%. Garazilla picked up this bunch of games, adding a nice bit of culture to his collection with Seven Pirates H. I hope you enjoy the fiddling. Executive producer Vei, our man in Japan, got in a really cool looking selection of games. Lots of extra goodies. I see CDs. I'm happy. God, I love video game music. They got in the Komaju. Check out my review. It, not not too many people watched it, at least compared to some other channels. I know some other videos uh, who did the review of that got much higher than ours. I'm not sure why, but yeah. If you didn't watch it, go check it out. It's, it's worth a look, I think. Special thanks to Theo for the super thanks. Very much appreciated. I'm glad you enjoy these videos every week. They were one of so many to pick up live alive. Genuinely makes me happy that you are giving it all your attention. Peter Clark also got in some big booby goddesses. I think we all desire that, at least subconsciously. Evil McLeod picked up this bunch of games. Yes, I'm still very much in love with that final Vendetta artwork lady. She is my dream lady, I think. Just don't tell my wife. Aaron Peterson picking up these Play Asia restocks. You chose wisely. Three great games and one game with big boobs. Approved. Looks like they also got in Demon Throttle as well, the physical only game. According to Devolver, not worth a digital release. Executive producer Precision Plague sent in this photo of some low-budget JRPG alongside some Chemco games. That was a rubbish joke. Never mind. Moving on. Executive producer Parsnip Coffee sent in this photo, getting in Fatal 12 from Limited Run. That's definitely been a long time in the making. It feels like like years ago. Carlos Ramirez sent in this picture showing off Pocky and Rocky, which, by the way, if you didn't know, Everyone should play, it's amazing. The one sent in a picture that made my underpants very tingly indeed. Or it could just be the new washing powder that we started using. I don't know, but I like it. Philip, thanks ever so much for using our links to purchase these at PlayAsia. You had the culture to pick up the best version of E's Origin. Easily the best artwork of the lot of them, the Asian one. Great game too. Pack Boy Slim sent in this picture showing off the breadth of variety of imports available. Shmups, dating sims, JRPGs, VNs, Metroidvanias, yes. Executive producer Instacritic sent in this photo. They picked up Crazy Chicken Extreme. I guess they've just fancied murdering poultry. It happens from time to time. 
executive producer Cartoon Soren. Happy birthday! They got in the big daddy edition of Castlevania. It looks like it was worth the two year wait. Alright, let's have a roundup. Pabs! Sarah Baker! Etienne! William Hutchins! Chew it! Bunny Bear! Vast Neon! Needless Dragon! Marty Ma! Black Star! McLaren! Rob! Mickey McFlynn! Golabat Lover! Mr. Vanguard. Park Ranger! Starvey! Ashura G! Alright, send me pictures on Twitter. So, what about game? You can DM me or tag me in a post and use the hashtag Let's Get Physical. Tag me and use the hashtag both, okay? We have an email address, switch, watch, spotlight, gmail.com, and our Discord. The server link is below in the description of this video, and uh, you can submit your pictures there in the submission section once I open it up. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Get Physical. Big thanks to our executive producers, Dave Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boombox, Brett McLean, Jonathan Rumor, Santa Tartaruga, Alexander Cato, Jcrush7776, Elissa, Punky Dooster, Cartoon Soren, Robotech, Z, Raven Knight, Pawn Metal Luna, Parsnip Coffee, Isa, They, Mental Traveler, Grand Cert Viz, Jennifer M, Instacritic, Precision Plague, and Kadacha. Plus you, yeah you, you watching right now, if you watched all the way through, you're a legend too, because the longer you watch, the more YouTube like shows us to other people. That's why we get 10,000 people watch every week, uh, compared to a year ago when we get like three, four, five thousand people. It's because of you watching right now. It's you. So please leave me a spider emoji in on of webbed or something like that. And uh, yeah, I know who the true legends are out there. This series is successful because of you. Go check out some other stuff. We've got bargains, of course, probably. And uh, yeah, we got review. Please check out my Comajo review and my new channel, A Bit More Jordan, for a lot more me. Thank you for to those who uh, went to watch my Alundra thing. It did very well in the end, actually. So uh, yeah, all good. I'm very happy. I'm a happy, 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 happy Jordan. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>